Yo guys, what is up? This is Scalmers from Minulox coming back at you with Discord.py episode 15, part 1. And this is going to be a two part mini series on how to make your own custom help command. The first episode is going to be setting up a few things just for our bot and setting up the help command so you can get all the commands uh, together. And then the second part is going to be making it more specialized per cog, you know, a lot more description, that type of thing. But anyway, let's get into it. And I've got a couple things I wanted to find first. So because of how much we use the prefix throughout the bot, I'm going to go ahead and define a default prefix. Now we're going to set this equal to this bad boy right here. Copy that. I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to make it a bot attribute. And that means we can use it throughout our bot. So we're going to have this default prefix up here where we, where we mention all of these. So like if I want to change the default prefix, I've got to go here, got to go here, got to go here. And that just takes a long time, especially since now we're going to have about five of these. So we're just going to make it into one variable. And then it's just really easy to see. Damn, minimap just had a little pigment issue there. You know, that should be that. Let's, uh, where else do we use it? Let's just double check. Uh, on message, that's right. So we'll put it in there. And I've also made the uh, text bigger for you guys. So that hopefully you should be able to see it just that little bit easier. Anyway, do we have it in on ready as well? We do. My current prefix is bot.default prefix, please. Bang. Look at that. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's jump into part one. And anyway. You're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to set up your help command file pretty much just like this. So we're going to be using some regex uh, in here to check whether or not it's a cog or not. And we're also going to be needing the math module, the math.cl to be specific. And we're also going to be needing the random module as well as your standard setup. So let's, let's start it off. Let's kick it off. Commands dot command. And then bang 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 enter name tab what's the name gonna be help command and what is our aliases we'll put some aliases bang bang just h just h for that chill vibes yo and then the description if you haven't figured it out already it's the help command commands <laughs> Now we're just going to define this async diff help self ctx and we're going to set a cog variable. We're not going to use this yet, but that's uh, what would Mickey Mouse say? A secret tool that might come useful later on. But for now, let's just go ahead. Let's uh, let's make an embed for our help command. Let's go dot embed idle well, let's, oh the help command you know uh what odd oh, count let's let's do what we randomly do random dot choice bang self dot bot if you didn't see it coming color list wait uh let's just set a thumbnail you know why not set underscore thumbnail and we're gonna have this set to url equal to ctx dot avatar underscore url so the person that called the command you know gang gang that's that scary stuff what's up next what's up next well we need all of our commands right so logically that means we need to go ahead and make a list of all of our commands so cogs equals in list comprehension c or c and self dot bot dot cogs dot keys bang and i just explained how our help command works so essentially this list is going to be a list of all the cogs on your bot so all of these bad boys over here except the only problem is well this is going to fail because there's no commands in here and our help command assumes it makes the assumption that there will be at least one command per cog and so the way this help command is going to work, let's go into here. So essentially it's going to go into every command. It's going to use the name. It's going to use the description. It's going to use the aliases. It's going to use the usage. So if it can't find a command, it's going to error. So 
How do we fix that? Well, it's quite simple actually. You just remove any cogs from the list you don't want to have to deal with. And let's comment it as we go. Let's be that guy. So get a list of all our current cogs and remove ones without commands. And then we're going to paginate this. So it's going to be separated onto pages. So we're going to use a math.seal function, which essentially just rounds up whatever math you do. So I want four cogs per page. So for this bot, that should be animals, config, help, miss, two pages. And so that's going to be the total pages of our help command. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to go cog was int cog and then we're gonna go if cog is greater than total pages or cog is less than one it's an invalid cog all right that is an invalid argument you can't be using that so invalid page number because these are pages you know and then we're just gonna go bang, 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 boom, done. Please pick from, how many pages do we have, guys? Total pages. Pages. Alternatively, simply run out. And what else do we wanna put in there? Let's make it a bit more descriptive. Help to see. Uh, default help. Uh, let's see the first page. Bang, boom! Look at that easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, quite frankly, put I don't want to return here. I don't want this to continue on. So let's get into the next one. Needed cogs. So I'm just going to make another list here. And because we're splitting things up, we need to know what cogs we need. So we're gonna need four cogs, right? And then we're gonna get x equals i plus boom, boom, boom. Int cog minus one times four. And then we're gonna split that up. We're gonna go bang, bang, bang. And I'll explain this once I've finished. Let me just focus on this. So essentially we're going to need out of all of our cogs up here, so we've got eight cogs well that's two pages so we only need four of those eight cogs so this math here just works based off the cog provided which is going to be the page provided it's going to work off that and where it can put them in a list but let's say you've got five cogs with commands as we do page two is only going to have one item and needed cog so you need to handle that and that's why we have an index error so it just continues on and it's all right then we're just going to go for cog in Needed cogs. Now we need to get a list of all the commands in the cog and make an embed for it. So let's go command list equals a string. And then we're gonna go for command in self dot bot dot get underscore cog. Pass in the cog and then we're gonna walk the commands. So there's another method available for getting all commands, except that doesn't take into account all of the groups you know sub commands whereas this one does and i want sub commands so if, if the command is hidden well it's hidden so you don't want to show it if the command does not have there that means it is a sub command and within here i don't want to show sub commands so if you do want to show sub commands, you just remove this if statement, alright? It's that simple, guys. And then we're just going to go command list. If it makes it past all of our checks, it needs to be added to the command list. And we're just going bang, 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 bang. The command name. Some formatting. You ready for this? <gasps> oh, look at that. Might not look like much, but that is literally all we're gonna need to do and then outside of that loop we're going to just add a new line character you know keep it looking sexy and then we're just gonna go help embed 
cog.add underscore field and then we're going to go name equals cog because you know that's the name value equals command list and then we're going to go inline equals false bam boom whack just like that we have got it done let's send it oh wait ctx.send embed equals help embed let's go run the bot let's test it out oh dear command help is already registered that might be a bit of a problem won't it except it's not there's a couple different ways you can do this so the first of which which is not the better option is after you've defined bot you can remove commands so bot.remove underscore command and this will work except the only issue with this is well, well there's not an issue it's just not as nice so what you can do discord.py comes with something nice built on so we go help underscore command when you're setting your bot and then just set it equal to none boom boom quack look at that <laughs> damn it's really that easy so let's go ahead let's run the help command and please please kind sir oh dear context object uh, you know why i've done that it's because i forgot to point it to the author let's jump back in there how do we fix that ctx dot author dot avatar url let's go again let's go up should be enough time for it to run another error x is not on the list oh dear oh dear oh i know why that is now another handy reminder that everything in discord.py is case sensitive i have not converted these to lowercase that's for our specific one in the next part of episode 15 but it's actually based off the name of the class not the name of the file so you do need to go in here and you do need to make sure that is case sensitive. So we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna run that again. And hopefully, like they say, third time is the charm. Okay, maybe not. No attribute name. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm really not having a good day today, am I guys? Ah, uh, a lot of typos from me today. Sorry about this guys. I really did not mean for this to take this long and have this many syntax errors. Well, there we go. It's loaded up. And, uh, well, third time might not be the charm, but I'm willing to bet that fourth time is. <laughs> and would you look at that? I was not quite right. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's look at that. Cool. So it looks like we've got a help command, but it's, it's still not quite formatted correctly. So by the looks of it, we've forgotten to add a new line character, if you hadn't already guessed it. Because you'll notice everything's on the same line, except when we start a new cog, it, it isn't. So we're going to jump back in here, we're going to go down a bit, and we're just going to add a new line character. Help. Fifth time's the charm, guys. Wow, would you look at that. Woohoo! We got it eventually. Now... It doesn't say the total number of pages, and that's kind of disappointing. So, you know what we need to do? Let's set a footer, because I can currently go help zero, and it tells me it's the wrong number. But it doesn't say that anywhere in the help command, which is kind of sad, because, you know, I read that. So let's go into here, let's go into here, and let's move up here. If it is a valid tog, let's add help embed dot set underscore footer. And because of how we set up our commands, the text is going to conveniently be how to use it. There's a required argument and optional. And then here we'll just go page cog of total pages. Sweet. Sweet. Now we should get a nice sexy footer down the bottom. Oh, look at that. You'll notice that'll come into effect next uh, episode when we get into some more specific details. But you notice we've got two pages, so we can do help page two. Help page one. The regular help just shows page one. And if you're out of index, you're out of range.
Help page four. Damn, look at that. That is just so nice. Anyway, guys, I will leave it here for this episode. Happy coding. Have fun with that. Although, don't stop here. Watch the next part to this episode as well, because I will be finishing off the help command and making it so you can do help, help config. You know, make it really simple. That doesn't work at the moment. It raises some errors because you can't convert it. That's where we're going to use a regex. That's where we're going to make it look even better. So, until uh, the next episode, until the next part of this episode, I will see you guys around. This is Scumless from Menudocs, signing off.